Welcome, Junior Takis. Welcome to question one of the exam questions for human reproduction. Before we carry on and do questions from the exams, please make sure you watch my theory video, print the worksheet, and have the memo with you at hand. There will be six questions that we will be doing in human reproduction, so join me for all of the questions so that you can learn how to answer questions in the exams. Right, let's get down to the question one. Here's an overview of the question. It, we are going to be doing six questions, and it is 17 marks, this question. And here, the diagram is based on the male reproductive system. And in your diagram here, you can see the male reproductive system as well as the human sperm cell. Right. 1.1. 1. 1. Provide labels for A, B, E, and G. Now, A, if you look at A, is directly below the bladder, so that is obviously the prostate gland so we will write prostate prostate gland b if you look very carefully is the tube that carries the sperm from the testes past the gland so b will be the vas deferens e is is the urethra be careful here when the vast different en enters the penis that is known as the urethra and then g is obviously the nucleus of the sperm which i will label on the diagram okay so those are the labels for a b e and j now, the next question, it says state one function of C and F respectively. So C, we look at C. C is the epididymis. And the epididymis, so when you're answering this question, make sure you know how to spell epididymis. And epididymis stores the sperm until mature. Don't just say stores sperm. Say stores sperm until mature. Sorry. Now, F, if we look at F, is the acrosome. And we know that F has, has, is the acrosome and has enzymes to digest the outer layer of the ovum during fertilization. The outer layer of the ovum. And then you can write in brackets during fertilization. Keep your answers simple, short. Right. Do not say C is the epididymis. Just say C is the epididymis and stores sperm until mature. All right. So that was now 1.2. Now, 1.3. It says, let me just clear up here. So 1.3. Right. 1.3, state the letter and the name. Letter and the name of the part where sperm is produced. And you should know that sperm is produced at D and the name, of course, that is the testes. Then, your next question, why is it necessary for part D, the testes, to hang outside the body of the male? Now, from my theory videos, you should know that sperm can only be produced at 2 degrees below body temperature. So your one answer, you must say 2 degrees lower than body temperature. And there you must say for normal sperm to actually be produced. Okay, so you must compare, tell me the temperature and give me the reason why normal sperm, healthy sperm to be produced. Okay, question 1.5. Name the following. The cells that secrete the male sex hormone. Well, that is easy. They ask for the cells. So it is the cells of Ledig. Or you can even call them the interstitial cells. 
They want you to also name the following, the hormone that stimulates the development of the secondary sexual characteristics in males. That is easy. That is testosterone. Now, 1.6. 1.6 is a very famous question. comes out in many papers that I have seen. During a vasectomy, part B is surgically cut, which is the vas deferens. How this procedure will act as a method of contraception, right? So that's for two marks. So, of course, with 1.6, A, sperm will not be able to leave the man's body. So, sperm will not leave the man's body. man's body via the urethra and enter the female so no fertilization so that is sufficient now for two marks B, will it be possible for a man who is HIV positive to pass the HIV virus to another person after he undergoes a vasectomy? While with the vasectomy, he will only not be allowed to release sperm. But when the male is undergoing copulation, he will still release body fluids or the semen. And the semen will still have the HIV virus. So yes, he will still be able to infect another person because there will be semen and in the HIV virus is in the semen so during copulation he actually can still infect another person so b your answer was yes and then c the reason is here well thank you for joining me for this question i hope you will join me for the other questions question two to six so you can learn more about the exam questions in human reproduction. Thank you.